Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Today we'll be working on cleaning and replacing the 72 pin connector in an original NES. Here's the NES we'll be working on. Now I've never tested this out before so I'm not sure if it works or not. That connector feels pretty weak, so I'm pretty sure I know what'll happen. Yep, red blinking light. The bane of the Nintendo. Let's try moving the game around and see if we can get anything. Still nothing. Well, looks like we're gonna have to replace that 72 pin connector. Luckily, these are really easy to take apart. For just a basic teardown, you'll really only need a Phillips screwdriver. We'll start with the six screws on the bottom to remove the case. Let's set those aside in a container so we don't lose them. Now we'll have nine more screws so that we can remove this metal casing. These are all the same size, so no worries about getting them mixed up. And six more holding the game bay. Two of these are a little longer than the other, so pay attention. Once we've freed up the board, we can remove the power and controller cords. We'll set that all off to the side so it's out of the way. And that's what the inside of your Nintendo looks like. The old 72 pin connector should come right off. Now let's clean those connectors up a little bit. I use a drafting eraser and some isopropyl alcohol. After that's done, we can put on our new 72 pin connector. While we have the console apart, let's go ahead and finish tearing it down and give it a good cleaning. Two screws holding down the power and reset buttons. Now these screws are different from the others, so make sure that you set them aside from the others. And two more screws on the bottom so we can remove the controller ports. Again, these are different from the others, so pay attention.
The shorter cord is for controller one. And the longer cord is for controller two. Now we'll tear down the rest of the top of the case. This will need a small flathead screwdriver. There's six different screws here. I've found that Clorox wipes work pretty well for most cleaning jobs like this. After we're done cleaning, we can put everything back together and finally test out our console. Oh no, did I seriously just do that? Well, no point crying over spilt milk. Let's get everything picked back up and hope we didn't lose any screws.
All right, moment of truth. That new connector is a little snug, but it'll get better after a little bit of use. Haha, <laughs> it works! And there we have it. A complete teardown, cleaning, and replacement of the 72 pin connector. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps out me and the channel quite a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.